Oh, uh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Let's discuss further into trigonometric integrals. And now look at example 9 of this example series and solve this integral, which is integral of sine 4x times by cos 5x dx. Yeah, now this uh, integral, it, it doesn't look pretty, uh, doesn't look too straightforward in solving it. And also in my earlier videos, I went over examples on solving trig integrals of the form. So the ones that we did cover was sine m of x, uh, cos n of x dx, where m and n are integers. And also here we went over secant, or I'll write just uh, 10 m of x, and then secant n of x dx. Write this bit better. Now these are the ones we covered, so this one's different because there's a 4x, 5x, there's an integer inside of the sign, these are just the powers, and also integrals of the form, if you were to go beyond this and write uh, cotangent m of x, and cosec uh, cosecant uh, of n of x dx, now you could uh, use very similar methods to these yeah, so uh, like I written right here, so similar methods to these because of this trig identity, which is one plus cotangent squared of x equals two cosecant squared of x, and this one comes from well, obviously if you take the main um, uh, trigonometry uh, trig identity, this one sine sine squared plus uh, cos squared. Yeah, equals to one. Now, if you were to just divide uh, both sides by sine squared of x, so sine squared of x on every single one, then basically you will get, in this case, you'll get one plus, this will be a cotangent squared of x. This equals to cosecant squared of x. So that's the proof for this identity right here. Yeah, and I'm not going to cover these because it's, it's again very similar to these, but we're going to be using this instead. And now to get back to our example, uh, basically uh, to evaluate integrals of the form, well, we're going to have three uh, types of it that are similar. So A, which is sine, and this is going to be, well, m of x times it by cos, so integral of sine m of x, n of x dx, that's the first type. So the second one, yeah, this, this first type is part of our example. So the second one is uh, sine m of x and then sine n of x dx. The brackets, uh, just you could put them in or put or not put them in just for clarity. I just leave them out. And this one is to show that it, that doesn't mean anything. So now if you have a, then another third type is if you have cos m of x uh, times it by cos n of x dx. Now these ones, uh, these kind of integrals, we can greatly simplify them by applying the following uh, trig identity. And that's over here. Yeah, well basically we could apply the corresponding one. So for A, we'll have it, we'll apply this identity, which is sine A cos B. And again, the proof for these are in video link below. I did a proof of all of these uh, product identities. So sine A cos B, that corresponds to this. This becomes sine a minus b plus sine of a plus b. So basically we split this sine cos into two separate sines, which we can evaluate the integral of. And now the second type, which corresponds to sine uh, times sine, we'll have it sine a sine b equals to one half and now this will be actually cos a minus b, and then we subtract some, I mean, yeah, cos again, so it's gonna be cos a plus b. And now the third one, which corresponds to c cos, so there's two coses, cos a and cos b equals to one half of, uh, this is gonna be cos, yeah, cos a minus b, 
and now we have a plus cos a plus b. So the, this, these identities are all very similar to each other. Yeah, and now back to our example here, sine 4x cos 5x dx. Well, in this we could use integration by parts, but an easier way is basically using yeah, it's using the trig identity 2a, actually I don't know why there's a 2 there, so the, the first one right here, so the, the, this equation, because yeah, we could use integration by parts, you can see my earlier video on that, but that's just going to complicate things, but if we were to just apply this identity, as you can see, we could transform the sine cos into just dealing with sines and addition of sines. So, if we apply that, we get basically sine, 4x, now this is going to be 5x, uh, I mean cos 5x dx, now this could be our a, this is our b, so 4x and this is 5x, this equals 2 integral of 1 half, and now we put in the bracket sine a minus b, so sine, so now we have a 4x minus 5x, that's a minus b, plus a sine now we have it a um, now we have the addition so we have 4x plus 5x and this is all dx so this simplifies to negative um, I mean not negative this is going to be one half and now integral of this is going to be sine negative x that's just uh, 4x minus 5x plus now this is sine of um, 9x. That's all dx. Now this part right here, uh, this equals to, well, this is just equal to a negative sine of x. And you can see a video link below on that. And also if you were to look at the sine curve, it looks something like this. So if you were to go, if this is sine of x, and then at this point, for example, that's x, and the corresponding over here is going to be, let's say, the exact same distance, but on this side, this is negative x, so this is exactly going to be uh, this negative sine, I mean, the sine negative x, this just equals to the negative of this sine of x right here. So this equals to negative sine of x. So it's just a mirror, mirror image, but flipped uh, downward, so it's always a negative of it. So if we apply that to it, we get uh, basically sine 4x cos 5x dx equals 2. So apply that in there. It's going to be 1 half integral of negative sine of x plus sine of 9x dx. And now, basically, if we solve this integral, now we put this 1 over 2. Integral of negative sine of x, that's just cos of x. Integral, I mean, the derivative of cos of x is just negative sine of x. And now we add here, so we have a plus, uh, this is going to be a cos 9 of x, but we also have to put a 1 over 9 right here. So we have a 1 over 9 uh, over here, and also cos of x is a negative there. So we need to put a negative here so that this becomes positive over there. I'll write this bit neater. So 1 over 9 times this. And now we just add our constant. So that is basically our answer to this uh, integral right here. Anyways, uh, if we learn from this pretty extensive example, I want to cover as much as I could here. Just so you get a better understanding. Also for these forms, um, they make sure to check the video links below and my earlier videos on these. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this video, and like always, you could download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy.